I just walked in the house, okay? So, new me because I went and got my nails done, okay? And I've had, excuse the way I look, you know how when you're driving and you have like, let me back up some, and you have the windows down and then you get home and your hair just looks like super jacked. Yeah, that's me right now. Okay, so I have had, shut up phone. I've had acrylic nails for like definitely a year, probably like a year and a half, like long nails. Oh, I'm showing you. <laughs> and for some reason, as of lately, I've really just wanted short nails. I think they're really cute. So I did the thing. I was on Instagram and this nail place where I live followed me and I went and looked at their at their pictures, their work, and it was amazing. I loved it. So I was like, you know what, today's the day. Oh, and one of my nails broke. One of my acrylics broke yesterday. So I was like, you know what, this is a sign. Like, I'm going to get short nails and I'm going to go try out this new place. And so I did. So I called them and got an appointment and I went in there and it was amazing. Like. They had a full service bar. There was like chandeliers everywhere. Like it was very organized and there was like um, assistants walking around just like checking on everybody. And like, it was just like so luxurious, like way different than the place I've been going to, um, which the place I have been going to, I, I love it. I've been going there for over probably like two years, but the lady who owned it actually moved to Charleston, so it got bought out by a new owner. And I went there a couple weeks ago, and the lady was not good. She made two of my fingers bleed, and it was just sadly not a good experience. So I needed to switch it up, and I went to this place. It's called Ombre Nails, and I'm very, very pleased. So this guy, he, I just said, give me whoever. I need to experience everybody just to see who I like the best and yeah the guy who did my nails today did exactly what I wanted so here are the nail reveal okay here is the nail reveal so as you guys saw in Florida I got my toes done and they were like a brown color so I'm really into brown colors right now so here are the mother new nails okay can you see it's not really showing up that good on camera what kind of brown it's lighter than it looks on camera but look Hold on, focus, please, Lord, focus. I don't know, but you can see the design. He took a really long time getting this design done. Um, it took a lot of patience and a lot of like skill. Like he did great, but I showed him a little inspo and he, I just was kind of like, you know, run with it. And look how cute they look, they're so short. Like, it's so funny, as soon as I got in the car, I was like trying to text people and it, like my fingers were not hitting the buttons right because I'm so used to long nails so anyway this is a pivotal moment in my life I feel like who am I she's changing she's brand new one story really quick before I go because I have a FaceTime date to get to um I was just sitting there minding my business getting my nails done and this lady comes and sits next to me also Celsius always this lady sits next to me and she is like hollering she's so mad because she had to wait 40 minutes when she had an appointment but the thing is she wanted this one specific girl and that one specific girl was finishing up another client and apparently there was like good communication like they had told her that but she was just pissed off so when she came and sat in the chair next to me she was being so rude to the girl being like I scheduled an appointment. I don't know why y'all weren't catering to me. I waited 40 minutes. Just being so rude. And so the manager walks over and is like, hey, like, I'm sorry, but the girl who you wanted doesn't feel comfortable doing your nails anymore because you've just, you know, made her feel like threatened, which she really was being like really, really aggressive. So I totally understand that. And the girl that was doing the nails was so sweet and like quiet and just felt terrible. So anyway, this lady was like, hold on one second. I could see her and the phone was going up and she was like, hold on, say that again, say that again. And then started recording it. And I was like, oh my God, I am not seeing this shit in real life. Like, so she was a recording. She was trying to get them all hyped up. But the lady who owned it was so classy. Like, was like, you know, I have another lady that can do your nails. But the lady that was recording was just trying to get 
of a scene, a reaction. She was trying to get them to say like something like inappropriate or something rude, but they just weren't giving her what she wanted for the video. And so she stood up and was like, y'all are never gonna get my business again. And they were literally like, okay. Like literally the salon was full of people. Like, honey, your one freaking nail clipping whatever is not gonna affect their business. She's like, I'm putting this all over Facebook. Okay, like, wow, the Facebook warriors. Who cares? Stop being a Karen. Like, nobody likes that. Like, you're like you're embarrassing yourself because when she left, all of us sitting there started looking at each other and laughing. Like, like why are you going to do all that? Like, why are you going to do all that? So, anyway, I got my short nails and some drama at the nail salon, so it's a good day for me. All right, I'm going to get ready because I really do have to get on a FaceTime call. Hi, friends. So... <clears throat> I'm sitting at my house waiting. I'm about to go to my friend Kayla's house and we're gonna have a girls night. She's gonna cook and we're gonna play Jenga and we're going to gossip because that's what we like to do. And I have a lot to catch her up on in my personal life. She is like wifed up. She's got her boo thing for I think like at least over a year now. They just bought a house. Like she is so wifed up so she like lives vicariously like through me as in like she just like sits and listens to all my drama and all my boy stuff and just all all the things and I love to just sit down and vent to her so I'm excited to see her and catch up we are going to um go to the lake and walk around and then she's gonna cook and we're gonna hang out like I said I'm very excited but I wanted to leave a while ago but I ordered a new iPhone um I paid my other one off and it was, I mean, I was eligible obviously for an upgrade. I mean, it's not really an upgrade because I have to pay for it, but anyway, it's supposed to be getting delivered today. The window of time is like ridiculous. I've just been sitting here waiting um, because I don't want to miss it because it requires a signature, which is very frustrating. So I'm recording a podcast tonight because I really have been dying to record a podcast about relationships and dating in your 20s because it is such a roller coaster um let me tell you especially my experiences with it um not everybody's a lot of like I know several people that met their person like even in high school and not me <laughs> so I have a very interesting like um like just I don't know just a lot of stories about relationships um toxic relationships ones that um ended that just weren't so toxic they just needed to end it wasn't the right timing I have a lot of stories about dating dating fails like good dates just a lot of stuff that I want to talk about and I think it'll be a really good fun podcast to listen to so if you don't know, um, I will hopefully have it linked, if not, on any podcast platform such as like Spotify, Apple Podcast, um, Anchor, just any podcast platform. It's called What's Poppin' with Chloe. Um, that is my podcast and I would love it if you would subscribe and listen in. I'm not like a regular uploader, but I love to just kind of like pop in and update you guys on my life it's a really fun platform for me and I have a lot of fun with it so yeah go and subscribe to that and be looking out for the relationship episode it's gonna be really juicy and full of the tea and yeah I'm obviously gonna respect my ex-boyfriend's privacy I'm not gonna be saying any names or any clues to who they are but I will be sharing my experiences because I'm allowed to do that. They're my experiences too. So yeah, if they wanted to do a podcast about me, feel more than welcome. Um, <laughs> be looking out for that. But I'm going to wait for my phone. I will um, show you guys when it gets here. Y'all, I'm so pissed. I've been waiting here for like all day waiting for my phone. And as you can see, I am on hold with Verizon because... I was trying to tr like track, sorry I'm packing my bag for Kayla's, I was trying to track my where my phone was and all of a sudden the tracking info just like disappeared. So then I contact UPS and they're like, oh Verizon didn't 
put on like your your correct address or something and I was like so you're just not gonna bring the package even if I tell you the correct address so like yeah we can't drop it off so I've been waiting here all day for literally nothing um so I'm a little annoyed hopefully I can get it tomorrow because now it's already what time seven o'clock so UPS stops delivering at seven o'clock so Anyway, I'm gonna try not to be too annoyed. I'm gonna pack my bag and I'm gonna go to Kayla's. I'm starting to bring my Supreme bag, this green Supreme bag back into my wardrobe. I used to love these things and I still think they're really cool. So yeah, anyway, that's that. I'll give you guys an update on what they say because what are they gonna do? Just hold my freaking over a thousand dollar phone hostage like just bring me the damn phone but anyway all right well here's the fit for today i have on my black foam runners they're like black and blue i don't know if you can see the blue but yeah adidas socks and then i have this vintage t-shirt um i don't even know what it says isn't that funny um whatever that says i don't know and that's it. I have on some rings. This ring is from, let me see if we can focus in here. Probably not. Anyway, I have on two rings from I Am Coco LA. I got those on Melrose. You cannot see them. Like I said, I'll do a ring haul later um, because they're not really focusing in, but both of these I love. I Am Coco LA's rings. And then I got a Cartier ring on this hand and that's all I'm wearing. Super comfy cozy. I'm going to pick out a sweatshirt to maybe throw on over. I was thinking maybe this Burberry sweatshirt. It's just nice and plain. Just something in case it get cold. So yeah, we'll do that. And then we're going to go to Kayla's. I'm leaving Kayla's house and her apartment. Um, we had so much fun. She literally made me dinner. Such a housewife. She made like chicken and mashed potatoes and corn. And she just is so sweet so anyway um we hung out and then her boyfriend came home and we loved like us three love to just like sit and talk like i love her boyfriend so much he is like perfect for her and he is so sweet and kind and generous and just is always so welcoming to me so shout out to him but yeah we caught up we had a lot to catch up on and that was great so an update on my phone is um i called verizon and they did not put my correct address so ups was not able to deliver my phone today but i called and got it changed and they didn't give me a delivery date but i'm really hoping tomorrow is what i would think uh but who knows i just want my phone it's it's like it's not a dire situation but um i'm excited about it it's a brand new phone so yeah we'll see i'll update you guys tomorrow after work but i'm gonna go home and lay in bed and podcast because i have a lot on my mind right now um just a lot on my mind um personal personal life stuff that I wish I could share on here but that would be wrong because I would be sharing other people's information as well which I don't know I'm just not comfortable doing I wish I was but all I will say is that like things like ugh, I hate like being in complicated situations and all I'm gonna say is that people are trying to come back or a person is trying to come back in my life that doesn't need to be there and that is not good for me so I just have to stand strong and do what's right for me so anyway we'll talk about that on the podcast so remember what's popping with Chloe and I'm gonna get home um and go ahead and work on that and I will talk to you guys soon bye hi everybody look Someone's ready for bed. You ready for bed, sis? Yeah, so I'm gonna take our pillows off the bed. I think she's in a cuddly mood tonight, so <laughs> sometimes she'll literally sleep like back to back with me all night and wait for me to wake up in the morning. And that's when she'll get up. So I think she's in one of those moods tonight. 
So yeah, then I take my body pillow and I think I will actually sleep with it. Sometimes I sleep with it on the bed, sometimes I don't. Um, yeah, just pretend that's my boyfriend since I'm single, you know. <laughs> I literally sleep in the bed with my cat and a body pillow, so that's actually amazing for me. Anyway, get all my blankies ready. And yeah, we're gonna relax for a little bit, try to get ready for bed. All right, Salem, where are you gonna sleep, baby? Make yourself cozy, girl. Um, so I'll sit and talk with you guys for a little bit. I have some TikToks on my phone I was going through, um, which is probably not good to do before bed, but you know, we all have our toxic traits. So anyway, yes, yes, yes. Hi friends. Um, oh, I just kicked to Salem, my bad. Anyways, it is indeed bedtime. It is already like 1 a.m. So like y'all saw earlier, I went to Kayla's house and that was really, really fun. So I'm really glad I went and did that. Sometimes I have like, I don't know if you wanna sit. I just put like a mask on my face so I don't want to rub it off. I don't know. Say hi, sissy. She's gonna make biscuits right here. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm really glad I went to Kayla's house. Sometimes I have really bad, like, um, anxiety when it comes to, like, social situations, even though, like, she's my, excuse me, she's, like, my best friend. Still, sometimes I like to isolate myself, so I'm glad I went and did that. Um, yeah, it's really late. I have to be up early in the morning for work, and then... I kind of have a busy weekend. I'm excited. We got lots of cool stuff to do this weekend. Um, tomorrow night, I'm going to go out on a little Salem show on my camera on a little dinner day. And then um, I actually have to work on YouTube stuff tomorrow as well. And I pushed back my podcast until tomorrow because I'm just too tired. And I really, like I said earlier, I want it to be a really good, um, good quality content podcast because I have a lot to talk about so we'll push that back till tomorrow and then Sunday there is a thrift event um it's really cool there's a whole bunch of vintage vendors and a lot of them I actually know and I'm pretty good friends with so I'm excited about that and my friend Jesse and Nate are gonna come with me and so they're gonna meet me at my house and then we'll go over there so I will vlog all that so yeah, this weekend should be pretty fun. Um, more fun than usual. So we'll see how it goes, guys. But until then, your girl needs some rest. I'm a, about them not knowing my correct address. And I, hi guys, happy Sunday. What's up? My voice is like kind of terrible. Um, the pollen is just really, really bad here. So. I can't speak right, but that's okay. We're still up and at them. We're going to ignore the sinus issues and have a good day. Okay, today's exciting. Um, I'm going to a vintage event called Thread Affair in Columbia. Um, my friend Jesse is actually driving to my house right now, and we're gonna go together and hopefully find some really dope stuff today. Um, I'm really excited because a lot of my friends actually, so what it is, is I'll show you in a couple clips, but um, when we get there, but it's basically like an outside slash inside venue and all of these um, kids and people who sell vintage, they get to set up like their little tents or their little stations and they get to sell all their products that they have. So it's really exciting for me because I buy a bunch of my vintage online so it's really fun to get to go in person and also see a lot of my friends um, I've made a lot of good friends and connections like in that industry and so it's really cool to see everybody together it's kind of like a big reunion and um, be able to shop and buy some of their stuff too and I love supporting my friends businesses so I'm so excited for that so yeah, Jessie's on her way and she's never been so she's really excited and she's kind of into a lot of the same stuff I am so I texted her this week and was like girl you gotta come to Columbia and we're gonna go to this event 
no questions let's just go so she was down and I love a down girl and we're gonna have a really good time um, the weather is pretty good I think it's like 68 outside so that's amazing but I'm gonna show you my outfit I love to there's been a couple of these events that I've gone to so far and I love to like pull out some of my vintage pieces but the way I like to dress and you'll come to see is I like to wear maybe like I'll show you this this outfit is exactly the epitome of what I like to wear so I like to wear like a vintage like kind of like put something vintage into my outfits but then also wear like um designer streetwear so it's kind of weird it's kind of all over the place but I'll go ahead and show you guys what I'm wearing we'll start off with um my earrings I always like to double up on gold hoops as you can see right here um then I just have one on this side these are my rings. I love to wear rings. I'm a ring gal. I don't know. Here we go. So this one, these two on my pinky fingers are from I Am Coco LA. I got them at their store on Melrose in Los Angeles. Um, and I love them. This one says F off. And this one says um, Till Death Do We Art with skulls on it. And then this is my Cartier ring. I don't know. Now it's not going to focus. But yeah, I wear these pretty much every day. So um, you'll see those a lot. Anyway. So let's move on. So I am also wearing for my purse, I'm wearing this Supreme bag. Um, I have a lot of Supreme bags and I used to wear them a ton back in the day and I'm trying to get them like back. They're, they're still in style, but I'm really trying to like bring them back. You know what I mean? Because these bags are such good quality and I think they look really cute and they bring a nice little streetwear aspect to you your outfit and they're really convenient. And then I always put a hair clip on my bag because I'm always, you know, I don't know, switching it up. So, all right, so this is the shirt I'm going with today. I got this at SneakerCon, um, I think Dallas. It is a Betty Boop school tips t-shirt. Um, it says, look good, study hard, bring a big lunch. So, super cute, I love it, super old school. And so I wanted to, obviously, we're going to a vintage event. So I wanted to incorporate one of my vintage tees. So yeah, and then I'm just wearing some normal shorts. I think these are champion shorts. And then for the sneakers today, maybe you can see them better in here. I don't know, we'll go down here. These are my Gucci Flash Treks. Um, I love these shoes. They're very good quality. I think they're upside down, sorry guys. Sorry, I, I have such a bad cold. These are my shoes of the day. Give you a nice little all around. I love these shoes so much. Um, they're actually really comfortable despite how they look. Um, and yeah, they go with a lot. I think they're really cute. The back tab says um, Gucci on them. And yeah, so that is my outfit of the day. And of course, I'm gonna bring you guys with me in my Supreme bag. And we will wait for Jesse to get here. So I was, oh, also, bracelet. Let's see if this will. Probably not. I don't know. I'll get better at this. I'll figure it out. But this is my Louis Vuitton bracelet. Um, the gold on it has like the Louis Vuitton logo and it does around the band as well. So I'll show you guys that one. Oh, here we go. Now you can see it a little bit better. So yeah, I wear this usually every day too. So that's my everyday jewelry. So, all right, we will see you guys at the event and I am so excited. Bye guys. Toxicality. Easter. What kind of store is this? Florist? I don't know. That's kind of creeping me out, Jesse. 
<laughs> this is what's creeping me out. <laughs> no, thank you. All right, Jesse's gonna laugh at me because I'm vlogging in front of her, but we are walking downtown. Um, we got some good food. We got tacos at Cantina, and we've just been walking around downtown and talking, catching up, and it's been really nice. The event was good. Um, I actually bought too much, but you know me. And yeah, we're just enjoying this nice, lovely day. Hi friends, what's up? Um, I am in bed on my laptop, um, doing some online shopping. Excuse the way I look, I look cray cray, and I did some self tanner, so I look even more crazy, so. Anyway, welcome to the Sunday Night Bed Chronicles. Hello. Um, okay, so last thing you guys saw was, what was it? Uh, me and Jesse were on Main Street shopping, and I was going to come home and do a haul. I will do that tomorrow because I literally got home, um, hung out with Jesse a little bit longer, and then I went over to a friend's house, and he has a hairless cat, guys, and I was so excited. I love hairless cats. I think they're so cool and cute and all the above so shout out to sheep you're really cute so yeah um hung out over there for a while and my nose is killing me because they also have a dog and it was like a short hair dog and i can't do that my i'm very allergic so that was awesome not but i'm going to lay in bed and watch some sort of like i'm really in the mood to watch like a pixar or like disney movie so i'm gonna do that and do some online shopping and then tomorrow I will give you guys a haul of everything I got at the um, vintage event earlier and I will give you more of a lowdown of what happened during the day because um, it was just like a really really good day today I actually got to hang out with a lot of friends today and that that's good for me because I like to isolate myself a lot so I'm really proud of myself for I hung out with three different people today and that's like really really good for me so anywho I'm going to get caught up in bed and find a movie and relax I've got my snacks here and my water and yeah we're gonna try to feel better because I'm still not feeling the best because of my allergies so we're gonna work on that but anyways um I also uploaded a new podcast episode it's called What's Poppin' with Chloe, and I've already talked about it, but I just want to remind you guys to go subscribe to that too, so yeah. Welcome back. It's Monday. I still feel terrible, and like I really do think it is the pollen, but I just like, I feel so weak, so not good. I haven't really wanted to go out because I don't feel good, and I'm starting to get scared that I have COVID, so fingers crossed not, but... I have the at-home test kit and we are going to do this together and find out together. I really think it's seasonal allergies. I tend to get this way every year, but better safe than sorry. So let's do this together. Um, I don't know, I did this once and it was pretty easy. So it was those like free ones they sent and it came I think with four, so. Anyway, I think like I can feel like the the pollen and junk in my nose, but I still get worried. So here we go. We're gonna do this. Oh, oh my god, I might sneeze. No, I'm good. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I think I'm doing this right. I don't really remember and I don't feel good. I just want to go get in the bath and like do nothing. Is this right? All right. Anyway. Okay, cool. Taking that out. I'll go dispose of that. Then you plug it up to make it like a dropper, I'm guessing. And then I got to open this up. One, two, three four okay it's literally okay get crazy literally looks just like a pregnancy test oh my god the line's even going okay how do i know if i have it 
Negative baby, no COVID, no COVID. Hi guys. Okay, I'm a little bit later on this haul, but remember when, it was probably only a couple of seconds ago for you guys, me and Jesse went to that thrift, um, whatever you call it. Like it's called Thread Affairs in Colombia, and we got some cutie stuff and I definitely wanted to show you guys that um, before I started putting it away, even though it's been a little bit longer, but I'm just gonna go ahead and show you now, okay? Okay, all right, so first we have, or let me show you this first. First, I got this ring, or I'll do it this way. How cute, <laughs> it's literally just like a, I don't really know, it's a smiley face with like double horns, I think, so I don't know, it was super cute, it was like five bucks. Yeah, the only sad thing about this, guys, is I did not get um, any like name cards of the people that are selling this vintage, but I'm sorry. No, actually, I do think I have one, so I'll be able to show one, but let's just keep it going. Yeah, right, yeah, let's keep going. All right, next we have, um, I picked up a Duke sweatshirt. It's actually a hoodie. Um, it is super, super soft. Let's see if you can see like the, it's like a very thin, like worn in um, cotton. Super cute, I love it, and it has pockets, of course. And I just love a comfy, oversized hoodie to wear with like, you know, cool sneakers. Super thrifty. This is who the Duke sweatshirt came from. Her name is Sophia, and that is her info. So yeah, go check Sophia out. Um, the, her Instagram is super thrifty with three Ys, so go check that out. She was really, really nice. Um, okay, also, this came from the same place and I wish I had a card for theirs because 10% of um, what they made was going to um, suicide prevention and awareness so I picked up two shirts from their place so what they are is they use vintage shirts and they kind of um, put their own like stuff over it but the, the shirts are vintage but then they kind of like it's kind of reinventing vintage so this one says beautiful mind and all of these sayings on their shirts have to do with like suicide and loving yourself and just it really goes to a good cause. So I really liked their booth a lot. I think they're really, really nice and what they're doing is an amazing, amazing thing. And I really wanna go and try to find their info. Maybe I'll try to figure it out and then I'll be able to post it in another video because they were really sweet people and I'm really like really proud of them for what they do. And then I got this from them as well. It says still here happy. I'm still here. So just like a Nice little vintage tea that um, they reinvented and made it their own and I was really happy to support them on that Also, this is kind of funny. I picked up these Never thought I would do it and <laughs> please don't judge me because I have said like So I will show you guys in a minute, but you can probably see over here. I heavily collect sneakers it is like my number one like favorite thing to do my favorite hobby the past like four years i love sneakers like and i'm for real into it like it's it's my and i love it i just i don't even know what to say about it but i've always told myself i would never own a pair of white air force ones they're just not my thing i know they're a huge trend right now and i'm really like happy for that but they're just not my thing whenever i think of sneakers and cool sneakers i think of like yeezys and stuff that's what i like so i thought i would never have a pair of white air force ones but when we were at this vintage meetup or whatever i found these okay they're my size they are super super beat up okay they sold them to me for i think like 25 dollars. okay so hear me out i'm gonna go grab those shoes in my phone and then i'm gonna show you what I have in mind for these, okay? I'll be right back. You can do stuff like that with that. This is my vision, okay? That's my vision. And I'm going to turn... <laughs> 
these musty dusty crusty air force ones into something cool like that my friend halston sell sells really really good vintage and he messaged me and said are you coming and i was like yes i'm coming and i was so excited to look through his stuff and my friend jesse actually got a really dope like um tim mcgraw shirt from him and i ended up picking up let me get it to where you can see it this really cool michael jackson graphic so me so cute love this i love this for the summer you can like tie it up with a cute like designer bag obviously with a pair of cool sneakers and just rock it rock it rock it i'm excited love it thank you halston and i will um text halston and ask if he has like any shout outs he'll want like on his instagram page or whatever and we'll put that down below i guess we can turn this into like a little haul um guys i'm so excited about this okay so Sorry, I still can't speak right, and I'm like, <sighs> because I'm still kind of sick, and I just can't breathe out my nose, so I'm having to breathe out of my mouth a lot, and it's just obnoxious. So I've been seeing um, the numbers 9, 11 everywhere, like everywhere. So does anybody else have those reoccurring numbers that like, it seems like every time they pick up their phone, it's 9, 11 a.m. or 9, 11 p.m., or a license place says 9, 11, or just like, in a phone number, it's 9-11. Just like everywhere I look, I see 9-11. And this is the weirdest thing. And I just, I didn't know why. And I still don't really obviously know why. But it's just a number that's kind of following me. And I don't really like pay attention to any superstitious things or anything. But I looked it up. And it was saying that it was like, it, they're angel numbers. And they are signifying that really big change is coming my way um like exciting change is really about to hit me hard and that i just have to be ready for it and i'm not kidding you guys like i didn't even know that's what that meant until i recently looked it up after you could see on my phone i would show you screenshots of all the time i've just like been taking pictures of 9 11 i've seen everywhere like and it's making me like all jumbly because like it's it's really strange and i don't know what it is and hopefully that's true like um be expecting exciting big change in your life because it's honestly a bit it's a little bit creepy how much i've seen it lately so anyway i kind of now feel like a connection to it though like i feel like i don't know i get excited when i see the numbers now and i just feel a strong connection to those numbers so i read more about you know the sing the meaning of 9 11 and you seeing it everywhere and it said that nine is my angel number so i got let's see and i don't know too much about angel numbers i just know like if you have one and you know you know what it is that it's just whatever it signifies which is big change for me from what i've looked up um it watches over you and it's um wherever you see it just know that good things are going to be following it so I got a little silver necklace, so we're unboxing it together. Let's see. And it says 999. So those are my angel numbers that I have just now discovered. And they're supposed to signify big change in my life. And that is something that I have been really wanting and needing. So it's really exciting just to, even if it's, you know, not anything to even just dream about that happening soon because it's something I'm working hard for. So, yeah, I just want to be able to wear this. I'm, this is going to be a necklace I wear daily. Um, yeah, because nine has turned out to be my angel number. So, I'm very excited. So, bring on the blessings, baby. I'll wear this every day. Just bring on the blessings. We need them over here. I get to Salem something too because she obviously can't come here she's a cat
love it. These like end caps, they're like everything's on sale. Sometimes you can find really good stuff. Like I'm gonna pick this up. It was $6.49, now it's $4.54 for a three pack of disinfecting wipes. So yeah, always check these out. Yeah, this is so cool. It's a monitor stand with a phone charger. This is so cute. I may have to get this, I really like it. It's like 35, so cute. Look at cute stuff over here. Guys, I really need a doormat, but I think they are all so just like never cute. Can anyone agree? Like they're either just hideous or they say really corny things like come in and cozy up. Like, and I hate this material, but like I can never find any cute ones. And these are just like granny. So please comment some places to get cute doormats. I know that's random, but I can never find anything cute. Okay, done at Target. I spent a smooth $51. $54.40. It's so easy to like rack up money there. Like it's actually, <laughs> they know what they're doing. It's toxicality.